Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for the topic banking and finance for December month. The session will be quite interesting and important and do take notes. They will be very beneficial for your learning. Let's start. First is name the new life insurance plan that has recently launched by the LIC with lifetime guarantee returns. What is the name of that plan? It is Jeevan Utsav. Right. This is the name of the new plan launched by LIC that will be guaranteeing lifetime guaranteed returns, right? This will provide regular ben uh, income benefits as well as flexi income benefits. Next, which small finance bank has recently partnered with water.org to offer accessible financing solutions for water and sanitation solutions? It is Ujjivan Small Finance Bank, right? I repeat Ujjivan Small Finance Bank, right? They have recently partnered with water water.org to offer accessible financing basically providing loans at less interest rate for water and sanitation solution to develop infrastructure for the same next name the bank that has recently signed an mou with ncdex e markets limited to strengthen the integration of e procurement and e auction systems i repeat name the bank that has recently signed an mou with NCDEX E-Markets Limited to strengthen the integration of e-procurement and e-auction systems. Which is that bank? It is Federal Bank. Right option is Federal Bank. Correct. Under this initiative, farmers lists crop details. Farmer lists their crop details on this e-procurement solution. 
right for the e auction purpose and with the government purchasing them at the minimum support price correct this will help the farmers to ensure a guaranteed fixed income for their crops that means below that price it won't be selling at the marketplace and even right now also the farmers at the borders of delhi they are asking for the msp minimum support price from the government and that is the reason the farmers protest is going on next sebi extended the timeline of linking of sebi complaints redressal platform that is scores right this platform with online dispute resolution portal from 4th of december 2023 till dash so sebi they extended the timeline of linking of sebi complaint redressal platform that is scores platform with odr portal that is online dispute resolution portal correct that means this online resolu online dispute resolution portal will be linked with scores platform and for this this will be from 4th of december 2023 this was the earlier timeline now it has been extended to what it has been extended till 1st of april 2024 that means by this date these two platforms will be merged next which company has recently launched their mobile trading application that is sky on aws so mobile trade application by the name sky that was launched on aws amazon web surface this is a cloud platform question asked is which organization launched this it was launched by hdfc securities next in december asian development bank approved how much amount loan for uttarakhand climate resilient power system development project to improve quality efficiency and reliability of power supply it is 200 million dollar correct this amount was approved by asian development bank and this was for the uttarakhand's climate resilient power system development project that will be improving the efficiency quality and reliability of the power supply next name the bank that has recently launched the parivar account for saving and current accounts so this parivar account for saving and current account was launched by which bank it was launched by bank of baroda that is b o b correct bank of baroda has launched parivar account for saving and current accounts right take a note of this next which bank along with tata new has recently launched tata new infinity and plus credit card tell me which is the bank along with tata new that has recently launched tata new infinity and plus credit card which is it it is hdfc bank it is hdfc bank correct and this card is available in two variants that is in the infinity and your plus so in tata new infinity hdfc credit card and tata new plus hdfc credit card next name the company that has joined bharat bill pay in the credit card category which is that bank that has joined bharat bill pay in the credit card category it is sbi card right they have joined bharat bill pay in the credit card category the goal of the partnership is to make credit card bill payment more convenient and accessible for the people this card will enable approx 1.68 crore customers to pay and manage their credit card bills through the bharat bill pay supported payment channels next which life insurance company recently launched a budget friendly term insurance plan for salaried individuals which is that organization it is aditya birla sun life insurance limited right they have recently launched a budget friendly term insurance plan for salaried individuals next name the bank that has recently partnered with accenture to improve operational efficiency it is union bank of india right union bank of india recently partnered with accenture to improve operational efficiency the platform generates business related insights and this insights will be used by these individuals to make better response or to basically make better rules for the same correct as they will be having the data of insights of it so the operation of those will become or the operation with the help of the data will become more easy and to the point next name the organization that has recently signed an mou with undp to promote sustainable infrastructure development so which is that organization that is asian infrastructure investment bank aiib 
they have recently partnered with UNDP in order to promote sustainable infrastructure development. Next, according to the world's largest insurer 2023, released by S&P Global Market Intelligence in December 2023, LIC has been named the Dash largest insurer in the world while Dash has topped the ranking. So according to the world's largest insurer 2023 released by S&P Global Market Intelligence, LIC has been named as the fourth largest insurer in the world whereas Alliance SE, whereas Alliance SE that is of Germany has been marked as the first rank or it was at the first rank or as the top of the ranking in the S&P Global Market Intelligence that releases the world's largest life insurance rankings. Next, Government of India and Asian Development Bank, they have recently signed a $175 million loan to improve the connectivity and resilience of dash roads in the state. So, which is it? So, remember Government of India and Asian Development Bank, they recently signed a $175 million loan to improve connectivity and resilience in the roads of which state? It is of Madhya Pradesh MP. Correct, almost 500 kilometers of roads will be upgraded under this. And also it is talked about developing a green infrastructure that is for electric vehicles, developing charging infrastructure for electric vehicles on those roads. Next is name the bank that has recently partnered with Intensive Vigilance and Intervention System to offer cutting edge electronic surveillance services. It is ICICI Bank. Next, in December, DPIIT under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry collaborated with which organization to improve India's logistic efficiency? Which is it? It is World Bank. I repeat, World Bank along with DPIIT that comes under the Ministry of MOCI, that is Ministry of Commerce and Industry, has collaborated with World Bank to improve the India's logistic efficiency. Right? Then, remember, in railways, 100% electrification of railway tracks will be done here. Correct? Next. REC, Rural Electrification Corporation Limited, they recently signed a dash loan agreement with KFW Development Bank of Germany to reform the distribution that is DISCOM companies in India. So, REC Limited, they recently signed a 200 million euro loan with KFW Development Bank of Germany to reform the distribution companies that is DISCOMs in India. The agreement is basically under this, remember the scheme extends for five years first of all remember right and this will strengthen the supply of infrastructure based on the criteria for the basic benchmarks that have been set for them the basic criteria will be met here next name the bank that has recently signed 80 crore rupees deal with 80 crore rupees deal with intellect design arena limited to deploy emac.ai powered cash management system so which is that bank it is your Bank of India, right? Bank of India, they have signed 80 crore rupees deal with Intellect Design Arena Limited and it is to deploy emac.ai powered cash management system. It is Bank of India, right? Next, name the insurance company that recently partnered with PhonePay to offer car and bike insurance products. It is Echo General Insurance, right? They have recently partnered with PhonePay to offer car and bike insurance related products. Next, which credit card company has recently collaborated with IDFC First Bank Limited to launch first SWYP credit card for Gen Z generation? It is MasterCard, right? MasterCard has recently collaborated with IDFC First Bank Limited to launch first SWYP credit card. This card will be powered by MasterCard and the aim is to provide various lifestyles for the today's youth so that they can afford, they can also have the affordability, convenience and in this better facilities and better services to be provided to the specifically to the Gen Z's generation. Next is name the life insurance company that has recently introduced the Alpha Wealth Plan to provide extensive financial security for policyholders and their families which is it we name the life insurance company that has recently introduced 
Alpha Wealth Plan to provide extensive financial security for policyholders as well as for their family. Tell me, which is the insurance company? It is Canara HSBC Life Insurance. Next, which bank or organization recently partnered with World Food Program to scale up the impact of food security? This was with World Bank. Correct. And the partnership aims to build robust food systems along with a preparation plan to handle future shocks. Next, which small finance bank has recently entered into a bank insurance partnership with ICICI Prudential Life Insurance for the distribution of life insurance products? It is your Ujjivan Small Finance Bank. Then remember, under this partnership, Ujjivan Small Finance Bank's 700, 700 plus branches across 20 states and UT will offer the entire suit of ICICI Prudential Life's customer-friendly protection. And apart from this, remember, for retirement planning, ICICI Prudential, ICICI Granted Pension Flexi Plan will also be available here. Next. SBI has signed a dash euro line of credit with KFW Development Bank of Germany to support the solar photovoltaic projects in India. So question asked here is that SBI signed how much dollar, how much euro line of credit? So they have signed a 70 million euro line of credit with KFW Development Bank of Germany to support the solar photovoltaic projects in India. Next, name the bank that is recently recognized as the top performer of the 2023 Climate Assessment for Financial Institutions Award for Climate Reporting. Which is that bank? Tell me, it is your Federal Bank. Right? Then Federal Bank, it emerged as the standout performer by securing two positions on the global stage and four recognitions in the South Asian region also. Right? And here, this federal bank has recognized as the top performer of the 2023 climate assessment for financial institutions award for climate reporting next which bank has recently received authorization from rbi to distribute pensions through electronic pension payment order that is eppos on behalf of the ministry of railway which is that bank tell me which is that bank it is your bandhan bank Right, The authorization is in line with the mandate of the Ministry of Finance and RBI. The bank will be able to provide pension services to around 50,000 retirees each year across 17 zonal offices and 8 production units of the Indian Railways. Next, name the company that has recently collaborated with LIC Card Services Limited and MasterCard to launch co-branded credit cards. Which is that company? It is IDFC First Bank. Right? Remember, the card is available in two variants. That is LIC Classic Credit Card and LIC Select Credit Card. The card provides reward points on payment of every LIC insurance premium. And these reward points will be valid up to three years. Next, which company has recently launched India's first self-hosted payments orchestration platform, Flowwise? So, it is your Cash Free Payments Limited, right? Flowwise is a one setup solution for Indian businesses for managing different payment systems. The platform allows users to send payments to different partners by cutting processing costs up to 40%. Next, which bank along with the IIT Kanpur has recently launched India's first fully integrated school of sustainability? It is Kotak Mahindra Bank. Right, that is Kotak Mahindra Bank Limited and IIT Kanpur. They have partnered together, correct, and they have launched Kotak School of Sustainability. The aim here is to promote pedigree education, research, and outreach by focusing on homegrown capabilities. Basically, focus will be on doing all the research and development and all the production in India itself. And they will be a set up, they will be set up in a green building that will be focusing on sustainable development goals next government of india announced the opening of sovereign gold bonds series 3 for subscription during the period of december 18 to 22 2023 the issue price during the subscription period shall be dash per gram so it will be 6199 rupees per gram also remember during uh, for these sovereign gold bonds 
the maximum period for which they are allotted is for eight years and after five years you can withdraw these sovereign gold bonds and you will be getting a two percent every year on basis of these bonds and these two these two percent that you will be getting will be uh, you have to pay tax on it but the amount at the end of the eight year that you will be getting will be tax free next lic increase the gratuity limit to rupees dash from three lakh rupees with an aim to improve the working conditions and benefits of the agents so remember in december lic increased the gratuity limit to five lakh rupees that was earlier three lakh rupees and the aim is to improve the working conditions and the benefits for the agents next Name the insurance company that recently launched a health insurance policy that provides comprehensive coverage for customers globally, including treatment from the best hospitals. Which is that insurance company? It is Reliance General Insurance. Right? This is a subsidiary of Reliance Capital Limited and they have introduced Reliance Health Global, a health insurance policy that provides comprehensive coverage for customers globally that includes treatment from the best hospitals. Next, which bank has recently collaborated with Indian Oil Corporation Limited to launch a co-branded credit card? Which is that bank? It is Kotak Mahindra Bank. The, this card, remember, is known as Indian Oil Kotak Credit Card and this is a fuel card and it is powered by Rupee. Right? Next, name the insurance company that recently introduced Smart Total Elite Protection that is step term plan that is a non-linked, non-participating individual pure risk premium insur life insurance plan. This is launched by which insurance company? Tell me, who launched it? It was launched by, I repeat, name the insurance company that has introduced this step term plan. This is launched by Max Life Insurance. So remember, step term plan launched by Max Life Insurance insurance the aim here is to provide enhance the financial security in the current dynamic landscape and the offering provides enhanced coverage of up to 2 crore rupees next which bank has recently launched industry first community banking programs for the diamond industry it is indusind bank that has launched industry's first community banking programs for the diamond industry Next, name the platform that has recently launched the new website and mobile application with the tagline Bharat Ka Money App. So this is the tagline that you need to remember and name the platform that launched it. It was launched by Cash E. Right? Next, which bank has recently entered into a corporate agency agreement with HDFC Life to offer life insurance products to customers? Which is that bank? It is Karur Visai Bank. Right? This bank has entered into a corporate agency agreement with HDFC Life to offer life insurance products to their customers. Next, which company has recently partnered with NSDL Payments Bank and the National Payment Corporation of India that is NPCI to launch One Nation Corporate Card. So this One Nation Corporate Card was launched by Paycraft Solution Limited and they have partnered here with NSDL Payments Bank along with NPCI and NPCI is the organization that has launched UPI. The card, this particular card, allow the card holders to travel across India on any public transport that accepts bank issued cards. Next, Ugro Capital has raised Dash through non-convertible debentures from Hodge, Netherland based on FMO. Right, This Hodge is in Netherland. Question asked is how much amount was raised through non-convertible debenture by Ugro Capital. So it has raised $30 million through non-convertible debentures. Right? And remember, Ugro Capital has offered credit to more than 80,000 small businesses over the last five years. Next, name the life insurance that recently entered into a bankruptcy partnership with IDFC First Bank Limited to offer insurance solutions to the bank customers. It is Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance. Correct? Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance is the insurance company that has entered into a bank rents and bank rents is when a bank and an insurance company comes together and the insurance company sell their insurance product to the customers of the bank. Next, EIB, European Investment Bank announced the investment of up to 
फोर्टी मिलियन डॉलर इन द प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड एमिस्कस कैपिटल पार्टनर्स फंड टू मैनेज बाय एमिकस इंडिया कैपिटल पार्टनर्स राइट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस एंड द फंड विल प्रायटाइज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन डिजिटल फर्स्ट बिजनेस मॉडल द इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रमोट्स क्राउडिंग इन एंड डाइवर्सिफिकेशन ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स नेक्स्ट इज नेम द बैंक दैट इज रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद द नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस सर्विस लिमिटेड दैट इज एन ई एस एल टू इशू इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैंक गारंटी प्रोडक्ट्स इट इज आर बी एल बैंक राइट आर बी एल बैंक एंटर्ड इन टू अ पार्टनरशिप विद एन ई एस एल दैट इज नेशनल ई गवर्नेंस सर्विस लिमिटेड टू इशू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैंक गारंटीज दिस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैंक गारंटीज ई बी जीज दीज आर द बैंक गारंटीज दैट वैन अ कंपनी वैन अ बैंक प्रोवाइड दिस गारंटी दैट मीन्स दिस इज प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ दैट कंपनी एंड इफ द कंपनी फेल्स टू प्रोवाइड द पेमेंट दैन द बैंक विल बी गिविंग दैट पेमेंट नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपनीज डू डज नॉट रिसीव आर बी आई अप्रूवल टू ऑपरेट एज अ पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर सो अमंग दीज एक्सेप्ट ईज बस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड ऑल ऑफ दीज फोर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसीव द अप्रूवल और रिसीव द आर बी आई अप्रूवल टू ऑपरेट एज पेमेंट एग्रीगेटर नेक्स्ट विच बैंक हैज रिसेंटली रिसीव द ऑथराइजेशन टू कलेक्ट रिवेन्यू ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गवर्नमेंट रिसिप्ट अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ असम विच इज इट टेल मी विच बैंक इट इज बंधन बैंक राइट बंधन बैंक रिसीव द ऑथराइजेशन टू कलेक्ट रिवेन्यू ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गवर्नमेंट रिसिप्ट अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ असम सच एज योर हाउस टैक्स व्हीकल रजिस्ट्रेशन टैक्स लोकल बॉडी टैक्स वॉटर बिल दे विल बी रिसेंटली collected by bandhan bank next japan international corporation agency that is jica they have signed a loan agreement with the government of india to offer japanese official development assistance loan totaling 415301 million yen for the construction of mumbai ahmedabad high speed rail and sustainable development goals in india so right option becomes 415301 million yen was approved by jica this will be given by to the government of india for the mumbai ahmedabad high speed railway project and as well as for promoting sustainable development goals in india next which bank has recently partnered with american express to launch privilege credit card so axis bank they have partnered with mx that is american express to launch a privilege credit card correct take a note of this here remember the applicant should be a resident of india and should be aged between 80 to 70 years of age for this plan uh, for this credit card and they should have an annual income of minimum 6 lakh rupees next name the insurance company that recently launched tulip that is a new term insurance policy with benefits of unit linked insurance plan so ulip tulip this was launched by kotak mahindra life insurance correct this tulip stands for term ulip this offers a refund of two times the premium allocation charges in the 10th 11th 12th and 13th year and the policy also offers loyalty addition of up to 30% of the fund value next which bank or organization recently approved a loan of 300 million dollar to the ministry of finance of government of india for the project tamil nadu climate resilient urban development program so it is world bank they have approved 300 million dollar loan for the project of tamil nadu climate resilient urban development program right and here remember if we talk about this the total finance of the program is 450 million dollar there this is the second installment of 300 million dollar that will be given by ibrd that is an arm of world bank next world bank has approved how much amount for the project sikkim inspires inspires is your integrated service provision and innovation for reviving economies so this sikkim inspires correct for this program world bank has approved 100 million dollar next which life insurance has recently entered into a corporate agency tie up with nkgsb cooperative bank limited which is that life insurance company it is hdfc life insurance right they have entered into a corporate agency tie up with nkgsb cooperative bank limited and this is in line with the bank's commitment to ensure the well being and financial security to their customers next which bank has recently signed a loan or which organization or bank has signed a loan of 100 million us dollar with the government of india for india tripura urban and tourism development 
project so this 100 million dollar will be given by asian development bank to india for india tripura urban and tourism development project next name the ministry or organization that has recently collaborated with asian development bank to launch an initiative that facilitates climate action in india's agriculture natural resources and rural development sector it is nabard that is national bank for agriculture and rural development correct then remember under this initiative nabard has collaborated with bill and melinda gates foundation to establish technical support unit that will be addressing the climate change in india and solutions will also provide the solutions for the same next which organization has recently launched triple p that is public private partnership beginners e course along with the department of economic affairs under the ministry of finance it is world bank right world bank launched this triple p beginners e course along with the department of economic affairs and it is a step towards fostering the collaboration between the public and private sector for infrastructure development next sidbi they have recently granted how much amount to eto motors private limited to deploy 300 three wheelers electric vehicles under the mission 50k ev 4e co so recently sidbi granted 12.45 crore rupees to eto motors private limited to deploy 300 units of electric vehicles three wheeler electric vehicles under this mission 50k ev 4e co right take a note of this basically here sidbi is helping the small businesses to grow by providing them subsidy as well as the amount for purchasing these electric vehicles this will promote the adoption of electric vehicles also in india next in december irdi is set to launch the first of its kind affordable insurance product covering risk against life health and property namely dash in the first quarter of 24 20 so which is that it is bima which is that bima bima vistar right so irdi is set to launch the first of its kind affordable insurance product that will cover risk against life health and property and it is known as bima vistar correct take a note of this next rbi has granted one year extension for the co-branded credit card partnership between bajaj finance limited and dash bank so rbi granted one year extension of the co-branded credit card partnership between bajaj finance limited and rbl bank next name the bank that recently received a penalty of 5 crore rupees by rbi over shortage in the soil notes remittances as per the rbi's clean note policy this is your bank of baroda they have received a penalty of 5 crore rupees by rbi over the shortage in the soil notes remittance as per the rbi's clean note policy under this the under this policy the damaged and counterfeit or soil notes are removed from the circulation by banks and financial institutions and new notes are provided into the market next which bank has recently launched india's first corporate credit card that is the e savarna card on rupee network it is in the send bank right in the sind bank has launched india's first corporate credit card that is the e savarna card and it was launched on the rupee network this e savarna card is a europe mastercard and visa that is evm correct and the card is aligned with npci's vision for a digital inclusive society moving on name the bank that recently announced a new suit of products and services to improve the banking expertise it is bank of maharashtra multiple new services has been launched for their customers right and remember here the bank has also launched multiple other facilities and services for msmes also to help them grow and also they will be providing the facility of e fixed deposit on their application so friends these were your important current affairs for banking and finance for december month now let's move to some revision current affairs that will be beneficial for your learning First is, which credit card provider in India has recently collaborated with Reliance Retail Limited to launch a co-branded credit card to provide a world-class customer experience? It is SBI card, right? SBI card, they partnered with Reliance Retail Limited to launch a co-branded credit card to provide world-class experience. This will come in two variants, that is Reliance SBI card 
and Reliance SBI Card Prime. This will be in two variants. Next, name the company that recently entered into a co-lending model partnership with SBI to provide affordable and personalized financing solutions. Which is it? It is M&M, Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Service Limited. They entered into a co-lending model partnership with State Bank of India to provide affordable and personalized financing solutions. Which bank has recently became the first foreign bank in India to offer EBG, that is Electronic Bank Guarantees? Which is it? It is HSBC India, right? HSBC India, they became the first foreign bank in India to offer electronic bank guarantees. And this electronic bank guarantee, remember, this is a guarantee that is issued by a bank to a beneficiary on the, on the behalf of an applicant, promising to pay the beneficiary the specific amount of money if the applicant fails to fulfill the certain obligation. Next, in November, Dash became the first life insurance company in India to receive Gift Cities IFSC registration, which is it? It is India First Life Insurance. This became the first life insurance company to receive GIFT's IFSC registration. Correct? And soon they will commence their operation here. Next, name the bank that has recently collaborated with the National Payment Corporation of India to launch the Platinum Rupee credit card. It is in the send bank. Right? In the Sin Bank, they collaborated with NPCI to launch Platinum Rupee Credit Card. Next, according to the data from Association of Mutual Funds in India released in November, which state emerged as the leader in the mutual fund investments in India during July-September quarter of fiscal year 24, that is the second quarter of fiscal year 24? It is Maharashtra. Right? Maharashtra, remember, emerged as the leader in the mutual fund investment in India during the second quarter of fiscal year 24. And remember, it was followed by Gujarat on second position and Karnataka on third position. Next, US International Development Finance Corporation has announced an offer of dash amount to Adani Ports led Colombo West International Terminal Private Limited to support the development of the deep water shipping container terminal in the port of Colombo, Sri Lanka. So, which is it? Which is the amount here? So, remember, US International Development Finance Corporation, they have recently announced an aid of $553 million to Adani Port led Colombo West International Terminal Private Limited and this is to support the development of various deep water shipping container terminals in the port of Colombo, Sri Lanka. Right? Also remember in 2021, Adani Ports, they signed a $700 million deal with SLPA that is Sri Lankan Port. Correct? And this was basically to develop the Terminal project in a build operate transfer arrangement for next 35 years. Next, name the bank or organization along with Global Environment Facility that has recently to introduce the National Capital Fund, a concession fund. So, which is that bank or organization along with Global Environment Facility that has recently launched to introduce the National Capital Fund, a concession fund? It is Asian Development Bank. This was by Asian Development Bank. Correct? And remember here, here GEF, that is your Global Environment Facility, they have committed $15 million investment to support the NCF Natural Capital Funds initiative that are focused on improving food security and safeguarding the natural capital. Next, which organization has recently signed a $400 million policy-based loan agreement with Indian government to create high-quality urban infrastructure. Which is it? It is your Asian Development Bank, right? ADB, they have recently signed $400 million policy-based loan agreement with Indian government to create high-quality urban infrastructure. This program is India's urban reform agenda to create high-quality urban infrastructure, improve the service delivery and promote efficient government system and the loan has a principal repayment of 12 years.
नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपनीज हैज नॉट रिसीव द सेबी अप्रूवल टू रेज फंड्स थ्रू इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफरिंग इन नवंबर 2023 व्हिच इज इट इट इज योर गैनविस एंटरप्राइज राइट दे हैव नॉट रिसीव द सेबी अप्रूवल टू रेज फंड्स थ्रू आईपीओ इन नवंबर रेस्ट ऑल गॉट द सेबीज अप्रूवल टू रेज फंड थ्रू आईपीओ नेक्स्ट which com- which bank has recently launched upi lite to allow the users to make small value digital payments offline without entering a upi pin which is that bank it is federal bank right federal bank they have launched a upi lite that will allow the users to make small value digital payments offline without entering a upi pin correct that is your federal bank and this upi functionality was introduced by rbi in september 2022 correct and this is an on device wallet feature that is integrated into the existing upi mobile applications next name the company that has recently became the second indian startup to achieve a unicorn status in 2023 this is your incred holdings limited correct it became the second indian startup to achieve a unicorn status correct that was and what is a unicorn when a valuation of a company is 1 billion dollar and it became the second startup to achieve this unicorn status next rbi they barred dash company from sanctioning and disbursing loans under its ecom and insta emi card products so which is that bank or which is that company that has or rbi that has barred so name the company barred by rbi i repeat this question rbi barred which company from sanctioning and disbursing the loans under their ecom and insta emi card products it is bajaj finance limited correct and this is with immediate effect next name the bank that has recently launched two digital gold loan schemes for the retail segment and agriculture segment so which is the bank it is punjab national bank right they launched two digital gold loan schemes correct mark this they are pnb gold loan for retail segment and pnb swarnam for agriculture segment so two individual remember them next which financial institution or regulatory body of india recently signed an mou with technology development board to ease the access of credit to msme it is sidbi right sidbi next which of the following personalities has have been appointed as the director of geo financial service limited after the approval granted by rbi so who are they remember all these three of them isham bani anshuman thakur and hitesh kumar sethia sebi unveiled a new format for scheme information documents of amc and the new norms are recommended by mutual fund advisory committee and will come into force from 1st of april 2024 i repeat sebi unveiled a new format for the scheme information documents of amc and the new norms are recommended by mutual fund advisory committee and they will come into force from 1st of april 2024 next and this sids scheme information documents or sid they contain detailed information about the scheme's investment objective asset allocation pattern investment approach the risks that are involved in it the fund managers fees expenses etc which life insurance company recently launched super cash plan that is a new non linked participating individual life insurance saving plan which is it it is ages federal life insurance right this is the insurance plan launched and this is ages federal life insurance they have launched a new linked participating individual life insurance saving plan that is also called ages federal life insurance super cash plan right so this super cash plan launched by which insurance company ages federal life insurance next which life insurance company recently launched guaranteed assured income gain a new guaranteed income plan for the customers of karnataka vikas gramin bank it is canara hsbc life insurance right 
दे हैव लॉन्च्ड गारंटेड इनकम गारंटेड एश्योर्ड इनकम अ न्यू गारंटेड इनकम प्लान राइट एंड इट वाज लॉन्च्ड फॉर कर्नाटका विकास ग्रामीण बैंक लॉन्च्ड बाय कैनरा एच लाइफ इंश्योरेंस दिस विल ऑफर गारंटेड रेगुलर इनकम स्टीम विद फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टू गेट प्रीमियम्स बैक एट द एंड ऑफ द पॉलिसी टर्म एंड दिस पॉलिसी इज अवेलेबल इन सिक्स ब्रांचेज ऑफ कर्नाटका विकास ग्रामीण बैंक Which bank has recently enabled its customers to pay with any merchant QR code using the digital rupee application? It is ICICI Bank, right? ICICI Bank has recently enabled their customers to pay with any QR code using the digital rupee by ICICI Bank. Digital rupee is also known by the symbol e rupee. Correct. This will provide flexibility and convenience to the customers. and expand the various ways of payment for them correct and also this will encourage the usage of digital rupee next is name the small finance bank that has recently partnered with ixigo to launch a premium co-branded travel credit card it is au small finance bank right a uh, au small finance bank they partnered with ixigo right to announce and they have announced the launch of their premium exigo au co branded credit card that aims to enhance the travel experience of modern travelers in semi urban areas and the card is the first of its kind value proposition across travel verticals such as flight trains buses and hotels and they will be targeting tier 2 and tier 3 markets next is which country has recently simplified the process for indian nationals to open and operate bank accounts in the financial institutions it is russia right russian government has simplified the process for indian nationals to open and operate accounts in the financial institutions of russia upon arrival in russia indian nationals will be able to obtain a bank card from rush partner russian bank and initiate financial transactions this will benefit indian tourist and around 15000 indian students that are studying in russia next IRDI they formed a task force under the chairmanship of dash to review the existing bank rents framework so IRDI they formed a task force under the chairmanship of Meena Kumari under the chairmanship of Meena Kumari to review the existing bank rents framework this task force was formed in response to the concerns about miss selling and forced selling of the insurance policies through the bank rents channel This task force will review the existing regulatory framework for bank rents and suggest the ways and means to increase the efficiency. That's all for the day friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue 